Product Owner Interview Questions What is Agile? Agile is a way of applying a lean mindset to software development by creating an MVP and building on it in the following sprints or iterations. In Agile, you break the project into several stages and involving constant collaboration with stakeholders and continuous improvement and iteration at every stage. For example, if you want to develop an app with Agile methodology, you will prioritize the features. If an app has 10 features, we start with 2 to 5 features, or to develop an MVP, and develop the other features in the following iterations. What is a product owner? Product owner role is tactical, mostly engineer or developer facing, getting requirements from customers for the app and prioritizing the app features and translating them into epics. User Stories and Tasks What are the roles and responsibilities of a PO? The role and responsibilities of a product owner is to make sure he or she understands the core of the product. 1. Being a liaison and face to the user. 2. Defining the vision. The product owner has the responsibility of creating a vision so that the development team clearly visualizes the expected outcome by the user. 3. Managing the product backlog. The most essential responsibility in a role a product owner is managing the product backlog. Since the requirements always change and are dynamic, the items in the product backlog might require some movements due to changing priorities. 4. Prioritizing needs. Making choices about the priority of product backlog items. What are the qualities of a product owner? PO should be a good listener, good communicator, should be analytical, should be organized, should be decisive in order to prioritize important features, and should be a delegator, should be a good servant leader. What is a vision statement? It describes the company's long goals and objectives, high-level statement of what problem will be solved, and what it will accomplish for the company, its solution, who it's for, it is the basis of all development activities, an agreement between the team and users. What are features, epics, user stories, and tasks? So basically, features usually tend to describe what your software does or the functionality of the software. They are a collection of user stories, for example, in the Marketplace app, some features would be that the users should be able to create a profile or update a profile. Epics are large chunks of works that can be broken down into user stories. Epics are a helpful way to organize your work and create a hierarchy. Epics are for stakeholders, users, and customers, and also for the development team where the high-level features could be discussed with them. And the epics usually mirror the high-level features. User stories are for the team so that the development team understands the user's perspective and provides business value to the user and can include the user stories in their sprints. For example, as a user, I need to list my product so that I'm able to sell it on the marketplace and if the user stories are big and cannot be implemented in a single iteration, then they can be further broken down into technical tasks, which are granular enough to be included in the iterations. The developers also provide an input for the task. Tell me how you collect the requirement. I conduct a series of workshops with small groups of users to collect requirements. I like to whiteboard users' ideas for the vision of what needs to be accomplished and what it will achieve for them. This includes defining what both success and done looks like. Next, I break them out into small groups with post-it notes to come up with the features. As a group, we then prioritize them and group related sets of features together and start to identify process flows. 
I found that reviewing the vision and the definition of success and done are useful at this point to refine them and to focus the group. Depending on the size of the project, this may take several sessions and include different groups of users. How do you prioritize product features? Use the Moscow method of prioritization. Must have requirements for MVP or minimum viable product? Should have, could have, and won't have requirements. There are other methods companies use like Kano method, $100 test, stack ranking. Understand why we are building these features. Are we solving the right problem? Do the features match company goals and what customers want? Give an important score. Understand customer pain points and needs and engineering time and effort urgency. Difference between product owner and product manager. Product owner role is tactical, mostly engineer or developer facing. Getting requirements from customers for the app and prioritizing the app features and translating them into epics, user stories, and tasks. Product manager is strategic, works with full product life cycle, including maintaining the product backlog, starting from product discovery, that is customer surveys and interviews, creating customer journeys and personas, and working with developers to create MVP or minimum viable product. And after the app or product is built, PM works with sales and marketing to come up with a GTM or go-to-market strategy. For more questions, click on the link below, share comments, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.